Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Frank from Tested. And we are here in Frank's workshop this week working on a bunch of projects. I love being here because we have access to so many cool tools. So much fun. And I thought it'd be cool to do a project with your laser cutter. Yeah, uh, Universal let me borrow one of their big PLS machines. So uh, it's, it's fun to have. And in Think of a Project, it occurs to me that we've actually used your laser cutter before very recently, in fact. Yeah. A lot of you may not know that I recently got married, and Frank, who was one of my groomsmen, helped make the favors for all 208 of our guests. Yeah, it was a lot. And we used the laser for it. Yes, we did. So what we actually did was make 208 of these little guys. Uh, they are miniature representation, representations of the Golden Gate Bridge pylons. Mm -hmm. And the process of designing and making these, I thought, would be an interesting story to share with you guys. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. and. Like every single project we do on this laser, I learned so much new stuff about just using these technologies. Yeah, so the idea I came up with, I love, we love Danica, my wife and I, love the Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of our favorite landmarks in the entire world. And to have miniature representations of the bridge made for 200 people would be very expensive. So what I found was the blueprint mm -hmm. for the bridge pylon itself. Yeah. And we took that image and you said, well, we can just basically trace that. Yeah. It, it the software interface is pretty easy. You could do this stuff with just Illustrator. You don't need any fancy 3D software or anything. It's just flat vector artwork. And as long as you assign the right line weight and the line colors, that translates into the machine softwares. And that's the same on, on every laser machine. Um, you just need to tell it, like, like blue is vector engraving, red is vector cutting, and, and anything else is a raster uh, engraving. So it's easy. So for this project specifically, it was just a matter of sitting at a computer taking that image of a blueprint that I found online, blowing it up, mm -hmm. putting an illustrator, and literally just tracing the outline as cut line, yep. and all the little details, as much as I wanted or had time to put into the design mm -hmm. as just an engraving, yeah. sending the file over to you, and then you scaled it, gave me a couple of rep, uh, examples of yeah. what it would look like, spray painted some plywood, yep. and then put it in the laser cutter. Yep. And it was as simple as that. As simple as three days, press and go on the laser. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also settings, too, yeah. with a laser cutter. Um, you did some tweaking. You found the right settings to get it to cut this project. Yeah. Um, a lot of these really good laser softwares have material databases already. And um, sometimes they're, they're set up just like perfect, and you can just hit go. And sometimes you need a little bit of tweaking. I wanted the engraving a little bit heavier, so I was upping the engraving. Um, when you're cutting plywoods, uh, you got to cut through those glue layers. So I, I turned up the, the, you know, the volume on the, um, on the cut settings a little bit. But you know, doing those little tweaks, it's really nice to have these baseline settings. And then back in August, leading up to the wedding, I spent a couple days here, mm -hmm. like you said, pressing play yep. and just getting sheets and sheets of plywood cut, spray painting them. Yep. And in the end, ended up looking, well, like this. I love that smell. <laughs> so we just pop out the pieces, take them out, put a little glue, plug them in, and there you have it. These were the favors that mm -hmm. we used at our wedding. Thanks yep. so much, Frank, yeah, for thanks. helping out with our project. Glad to be a part of the day. It's so simple. Uh, again, I think it was a great just first project to break in the laser cutter. Yeah. We're doing a lot more with the cutter on the site, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm especially proud of it. And so there you have it. See you guys next time.